How's it going, guys? It is me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome back to week five of the Pokemon Premier League. It's week five. We're two and two. Spoilers. Sorry, I just realised I've done that. Um, <laughs> that's right. Last week, we did manage to beat Ellie in possibly one of the closest draft league games that has ever existed. If you haven't watched that, I beg you at least watch the last few turns because it was incredible mind games. Um, really kind of like high level stuff. So it was it was really good. Um, I really encourage you to go watch it. But we are two and two, as is our opponent coming into this game. Uh, and that is none other than Ellie's other half is actually Jack, aka known as Gravy, who is the commissioner of the PPL now, ever since I handed the reins for it. Um, yeah, we're both called Jack, so this is officially dubbed the Jack Off. It's going to be explosive. Um, Jack's 2 and 2, like I said, I'm now 2 and 2, so whoever wins this game is going to put themselves in a really good position for uh, that, that playoff space. This is week 5. We're getting to the business end of the season now. We are in the second half. I'm 2-2. Two and two. I'm not going to go 0-8 this season, which is great. But, you know, while I'm here and I've got a chance, why not push for those playoffs? So, uh, yeah. Um, Jack is, like I've said, 2-2. Two and two. He's had some really tough games. Um, I think I probably lose to Jack more often than I've won, if I think about past experience. But it's been quite a while since we've played ones against each other. Um, that I can remember. So it's going to be an interesting game. I think my game plan is a bit different this week compared to other weeks, as you'll see in a minute. But um, and, I don't, and I don't think Jack will be expecting it. So really looking forward to this game. Well, let's just get into the team builder. For the team this week, well, you can see the six we are bringing. And you can see Jack's draft below. Um, I have accidentally cropped off the Terra Captains for Jack. Um, well, we can see Rhyperia and Cypher are the Terra Captains because they're different colour. Rhyperia has got Ground, Poison and Water as its potential Terra types and Cypher has got the Bug, no, Flying, Normal and Fighting Terra types. Um, looking over Jack's Draft, it's just uh, set up fret after set up fret, um, like Speed Boost Blaziken with Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, Iron Defense, Clangorous Soul, uh, go Mo -Oh. you've got Dragon Dance or Calm Mind and Krosma, you've got Swords Dance King Gambit, you've got potential Bulk Up and Grimmsnarl, you've got potential Rock Polish Swords Dance on Rhyperia, you've got potential Swords Dance on Cypher, potential Bulk Up on Gerda. Like, this man's team is just a setup threat. Um, and uh, that doesn't mean he doesn't have raw power either. He's got the raw power <laughs> like, everywhere. Like, Blaze can hit hard, Bundle hits hard, Komo -Oh can hit hard, Necrozma just hits hard. Like, things just hit hard in his team. Uh, as, as well as like set up left, right, and center. So, um, looking at this team, you might be thinking, well, how on earth are we going to go around it? Well, we're going to go kind of semi stally <laughs> um, against Jack's team. I, my game plan is preying on Weezing not being there. Um, I feel like Weezing could come as a potential answer for uh, Shifu, um, but he has also got Komo, which I think probably takes on the Shifu a bit better. Um, he also has the Grim Snuff, which could be a good answer to it too. Um, so I'm kind of banking on the fact Weezing will not be coming. Big threats to my team. I'm Blaziken. Um, apparently Adamant plus two life or No, not even life orb. Adamant plus two. Uh, close combat one shots max defensive Gastrodon. Um, yeah, so this thing is like the biggest threat to me. Uh, along with King Gambit. King Gambit terrifies me because if it gets a strong sucker punch off, it can snowball quite easily for me. Um, base plan scared of all the threats. So, um, the only thing I'm pretty confident of not coming is like Electabuzz. Um, which is why, as you can see, Reggie Alecki will make his debut. But we'll get to that in a minute. So, we'll go over the first one we've got here, which is the Iron Moth. Um, we are running Toxic Spikes, Substitute, Psychic, and Fire and Dart. Moth is purely here for T-Spikes. Um, I can't lead it, so I'm going to have to try and find an opportunity to put them up. Because I'm pretty sure Jack will lead with Bundle. Um, I'm, it's, it could potentially be a Scarf Bundle, so even if I was Booster on this thing, I think I might still get out of by it. Um, and I think Gardevoir overall, looking at his team, is like the best overall lead. So trying to find an opportunity to set up Toxic Spikes. I don't mind if I get paralysed or, you know, he sets up Light Screen or Grim Snarl or anything like that. I think Toxic Spikes, my opportunity to set that up will be either on the Grim Snarl or 
the potential uh, wheezing, if it does come. Um, I think he will be neutralising gas if he does bring it, um, because I've got quite a few things that it could help with. Um, so those are like my two opportunities. Now, if I can get it up, as you can see, Jack's team will pretty much all be hit by it, other than the wheezing, like I've said, other than the King Gambit and the Cypher. There is an issue potentially giving go to Guts, but I don't think Gerda will come, because I think I've got enough to keep that away. Um, so as you can see, the EV spread here, I've got enough speed to outspeed. What is it on his draft that I've got enough speed to outspeed? I want to say it's Cypher. Um, so I should be, I mean, he's got quite a slowish team, other than Bundle um, and the Blaziken. Um, so I think I've got enough speed to basically outspeed everything that isn't called Iron Bundle. The sub is there because I think he's, it was there for like mind games with like a King Gambit. Um, and then we've also got Psychic because it generally just hits his team quite hard um, on anything that Fiery Dance doesn't hit hard. So um, those are like the only two real moves I need. I don't need Sludge Wave coverage this week because I don't think there's anything other than Grimstar that it really hits hard um, that Fiery Dance doesn't. So yeah, that's Iron Moth this week. Toxic Spike's going to be huge. Next up, we've got Reggie Alecki, uh, and it's actually an offensive set. So, I don't think that the um, Electabuzz is coming. I do suspect that he will bring Lightning Rod uh, Rhyperia, because I suspect Rhyperia will be his Terra Captain this week. Um, if he isn't, then okay, but I think he needs to bring it for uh, like a backup answer for something like um, Ashifu. So, we are in Supercell Slam. We are going max physical offensive here, because I want to run extreme speed. Uh, Volt Switch, Reflect. Reflect was a filler move, and I was meant to make it acrobatics. And I really think acrobatics would really have helped against this team. Um, because obviously he's got the Blaziken, he's got the Como O, he's got the Cypher. I mean, Cypher's weak to uh, Electric anyway, but in case he's like Terra Fighting or something. And he's got the Girder too. So Acrobatics really does a lot of damage to his team. But Reflect is also useful because he's got a lot of physical threats there. He's got Rhyperia, he's got potential Necrozma, he's got Como O, which can be physical, Blaziken, uh, King Gambit, Cypher. So actually Reflect itself, leaving it on there, wasn't a bad move. Um, and then the final move is Extreme Speed. So I was meant to be normal gem Extreme Speed, then with Acrobatics. Um, and Extreme Speed with a normal gem, I think, can do like 50% of Blaziken. So if I can just get some chip on Blaziken, so that's why, you know, with Toxic Spikes, and potential spikes, as you'll see in a minute. Um, extreme speed could be uh, a nice way of keeping that thing in check. Um, but yeah, I think most people tend to bring and expect like a bulky lucky with like screens and stuff. So I think this might catch Jack off guard slightly. Next up, we have got Gardevoir, which is especially defensive. I've, I've gone for a wacky set again because I need this thing for bundle. But actually, <laughs> Jack really struggles to switch into a fairy. Um, like really struggles to switch into a fairy. He's got Weezing, which is weak to Psychic, and he's got Terra Poison on Rhyperia, which is weak to Psychic. Everything else on his draft takes neutral or super effective from Moonblast. The only thing that I can see looking at his team that might be an option is especially defensive Necrozma, um, because obviously that doesn't resist the Psychic too. Um, we're running Moonblast, Draining Kiss, Psychic Noise, and Vacuum Wave. Psychic Noise is there just to kind of present, like, prevent Moonlight on Necrozma. A voice Jack doesn't have a lot of recovery on the rest of his team, so th that's literally the main reason why it's there. And like, I don't think there's much reason for me to bring Shadow Ball for it because Moonblast and Shadow Ball pretty much do the same with Prismatic Armor. And actually, the AV, if he is a special Necrozma AV and uh, Prismatic Armor for myself. Well, I mean, I just tank hits. But this thing is mainly here for Bundle, which is why I have Vacuum Wave as my last move. And again, Vacuum Wave actually really helps with uh, Blaziken. If it's low, it helps with King Gambit. It could help with a potential normal Terra uh, Cypher too. So Vacuum Wave is just really nice coverage. So I kind of wanted a bulky offensive kind of off this game because it can do a lot of damage. And I think Como O is going to be his answer for the uh, Shifu. So I think it's a really important that uh, Gardevoir comes. It's pretty much come every week for me and it's just never failed to disappoint me so far. So that's Gardevoir. Next we've got Gastrodon. Um, we're running Earth Power, Clear Smog, Recover and Spikes. Clear Smog was a very late addition, but I needed it because as I've mentioned already, literally everything on his team can set up. Um, so Clear Smog would be really helpful. 
Um, Earth Power just kind of hits the most of his team uh, like, as, as hard as possible. Um, I'm happy that I can't touch this Weezing because if he's Levitate, that means he can't remove top six spikes. Um, and I can just set up spikes on it because I, I can't remember if normal Weezing gets Defog. I'm, I'm sure it probably does. Um, but, I, you know, if he brings in Weezing, that gives me like a free item off or like a free Gardevoir potentially because I don't think it'll really do too much to my Gardevoir. Um, so I'm not too bothered if he does bring Levitate because, like I said, Toxic Spike stays. I am mixed defense um, because I was like, well, there's no point in me being max defense because I'm not going to live a plus two from Blaziken anyway, but this does allow me to live a close combat or, you know, Brave Bird quite comfortably. And by comfortably, I mean with like 30% of my health left. Um, so, yeah, that's why I've decided to bring what I brought. And Spikes hits all of his team other than Cypher and Weezing. Um, Stealth Rocks don't really do too much for me. I think Bundle bundle will either be Scarfed or Boots. That's all I can see it being. Potentially Scarfed to outspeed the Reggie Alecky. If not, it's Boots. Um, and Spikes just does a lot for me against like the Gambit and against the Rhyperia. Getting Chip on those is going to be huge. And the uh, Coma Road too. I'm a bit especially defensive. Um, just to try and help me take on like Bundle if it is choice and it's not looking to freeze dry. Um, Potentially, I can't remember what else it was as well. There was something else, but it might have just been the Necrozma now I look, or potentially the uh, Como O2, in case I need to get like a clear smog off on it, because it's got too many clangorous souls off. Uh, so that's Gastrodon, and I'm Rocky Helmet, because uh, any chip might be really useful against like Blaziken. Um, so yeah, that's Gastrodon. Next up we've got Shaman, um, which is Terrifier. I was going to be Terror Electric, and then Frank convinced me to be Terrifier, as a last ditch thing for a Blaziken. Um, I don't think Blaziken will click Flare Blitz against me. Um, if it gets to plus two, I think it'll click Brave Bird. Um, so I don't know if Fire's going to be the play. And I think Terra Electric really helps me with Bundle as well. It takes away all my weaknesses to Bundle and it lets me hit it super hard. Um, generally, he doesn't really have a lot of answers for Electric moves um, outside of Como and Rhyperia. He does have the Electabuzz, but then if I'm Electric type, Electabuzz can just barely touch me at that point. Um, so I was Terra Electric, now I'm Terra Fire. But one key thing about Jack's Draft is he has zero Grass types. So I've mentioned that I've gone a bit stally this week. This is probably where it gets a bit more. So I'm thinking I've got Spikes, Toxic Spikes. If I can get something Poisoned, Leech Seed and Protect, I'll probably do like 50% to anything on his team with a combination of those. Um, Dazzling Gleam is here just to let me hit Gambit slightly and also the Como O. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Giga Drain is probably the button I'm going to click. Giga Dra Dazzling Gleam, sorry, lets me do some damage to Blaziken too if I like, need to get some chip off. Um, but yeah, I think every time this thing comes into a good or a neutral matchup, I click Leech Seed um, because he has no resistances to it. So it's a free 25% and it's free recovery for me on top of Spikes, on top of uh, Toxic Spikes. So if I can chip things down, that should then give me a good end game for something like the Reggie Alecki. And then finally, oh and it's max defense because it is literally here as an answer, an answer in air quotes to uh, Rhyperia and the Blaziken. Finally we've got the uh, Shifu, we're going to Macho Man here. We are running uh, Drain Punch, Wicked Blow, Iron Head, Substitute. Um, so the eagle-eyed viewers of you here will realize that I am Pretty much walled by <laughs> Komoo here. I was originally going to be Drain Punch, uh, Bulk Up, but I kind of figured I needed Iron Head because otherwise Grimsnarl just just sat in front of me. And I figured Grimsnarl was likely to be one of his answers, uh, probably more so than Komoo uh, initially. The nice thing though about Grimsnarl, or for me facing Grimsnarl with this thing, is he can't do anything with Prankster against me because I have a Dark type and Prankster doesn't work against Dark type, so he can't poison, uh, paralyze, or anything. So. I would be able to get like a free Iron Head off every time, unless it's Choice Scarf Grimmsnarl, then fair play, you just deserve to win at that point. Um, but if I can set up a sub against something like Necrozma, like this thing switches to Necrozma really well. Necrozma doesn't learn any fairy moves. Um, it probably learns Focus Blast now I think about it, but I don't think he clicks it um, against many of my mons, like the Moth. Uh, I've got, he could click it against Kieran actually. I've got Gardevoir there, I've got Corbin, I've got Castro, like, I, I, I don't think he'd be doing it. And Wicked Blow obviously does like massive damage to Crossman. Um, so if I can get this thing behind a sub and force something like 
Grimmsnarl to come in, I can attack it twice with an Iron Head. I might be able to kill it, who knows. Um, so that's kind of my thinking behind this. But this thing is my switch, switch in, again in quotes, to uh, the Necrozma. Um, because Wicked Blow against his team, uh, I mean, his resist is Gambit. Um, his resist is Como. -o. I mean, Como is pretty safe. Blaziken, again, air quotes, is a resist to the uh, Wicked Blow. It's a Blaziken. Um, and it, nothing else in this team really wants to switch into it too well. Um, that doesn't then want to take like a Drain Punch or a close combat afterwards. So, I initially wasn't going to bring Urshifu. I can't remember what my sixth mom was originally. I want to say it was Corbin Knight. Um, but I decided to change it. And I think overall, looking at the team, I'm quite glad I did. Um, because I think if I had Corbin Knight, my team might have been a bit too passive. So this is kind of a bit bit of something that can you know punch holes into things. So that's the team for this week. Um, let me know what you guys think about the team in the comments below. And I've spoken about my team for 14 minutes now, so let's just get into the game. Okay everyone, we're here for week five of the PPL, so we're officially into the second half of the season. 2-2 at the moment, and we're up against Jack, the commissioner, the coach of the Vancouver Titans. I hope I got that right because I've not been doing very well with team names and coach names over the last few weeks, so uh, hopefully that's right. Um, I am ready to go. I've got my counts. You should have hopefully seen the team at this point. Um, let me just let you know that. Actually, I'm not searching yet. Let me just quickly get Notepad up and let me just put my ones there. So I've got Moth, I've got Gastro, I've got. Uh, Reggie making its debut. Penny, my cat, has just climbed in and is about to climb my computer screen, which is great. Um, we've also got the uh, Shifu Shaman, which is a very obnoxious set, and the Guardian Wah. So we'll see what Jack has got. Uh, tell him good luck, have fun. Um, I've got a strategy for this game. I'm hoping I can pull it off. I don't want to wrap a ghost theme. No, no, no. Um, give me the Petra run one. Yeah, I enjoyed that last week. Uh, when I want to play against Ellie. Hopefully, you've seen that. But anyway, let me just get the cat off the screen before she fucking knocks it over. Um, I am now searching for this game. So I'm, I'm really relying on the fact that Weeding isn't going to be here. Um, because I've got a very stally ish team. Which might not be a good idea against someone who's got Necrozma, uh, Necrozma, Blaziken, uh, Como. -o. A lot of set up, set up opportunities in this game. Um, so whether that's a good opportunity or not, uh, option, I don't know. No wheezing, which is fantastic. There is no hazard removal, which means Toxic Spike to hit to stay if they are hit. I struggle with Bundle. Rhyperia's here. If I can get Rhyperia dead or weak, it might be Lightning Rod. And once that's gone, I should have kept. I should have put Acrobatics on Regieleki. Uh, I wanted to. I put Reflect on in the end because he has a lot of physical threats, which are terrifying. Um, and I am Normal Gem because that wasn't my original build, and I never changed it. So it's Grim, Como. Oh, he's got all this out basically. Necrozma. Um, Rhyperia, Blaziken, and Bundle. Um, he doesn't have a switch into Gardevoir. At all. Uh, he could be Poison, uh, Rhyperia, but that's about it. I think Gardevoir is the best lead here. It does good against everything. I need to keep it healthy for Bundle. Um, Otherwise, it's going to come down to some mind games with uh, Gastrodon and Co. But if I can get Toxic Spikes up against the Grim Snarl or maybe the Como, then I think I'll be okay. So, good luck, have fun. I probably I wanted to lead Moth, but I'm too scared of that bundle lead. Um, I am quite especially defensive Assault Vest one, so this is like my best answer to uh, to the bundle. So we'll see how this goes. As long as I don't get 6 0'd, I'll be happy. I am 2 and 2, so a win would be 3 and 2 and probably put me in good contention for playoffs come the end of the season. 
So he does leave Bungle, so that's what I thought would happen. Um, do I just take the hit and click the Moonblast button? Because Jack doesn't have a switch in to Moonblast. Um, or do I click Vacuum Wave to try and get damage up this thing? He doesn't have a Moonblast switch in, so it's going to do good damage to anything. Is he going to Cosmo? Maybe. Um, I'm going to click Moonblast. I think it's free. He's going to click Flip Turn, I think, but it's it's from a uh, from a bundle, so we'll see. we'll see. Hopefully, he stays in and clicks like Hydra or something, because then I can click Vacuum Wave on the second turn. He clicks U Turn. Okay, so that does some damage. Jack did tell me before the game one of his mons on his team has got. EVs in every stack. And I said it's either going to be Como O, Necrozma, or Bundle, and he put all of them. So uh, in comes the Necrozma. So I'm going to trace the Prism Arm. Now, how much does the Moonblast do? Not a lot, but you get the special attack drop, which is nice. Um, I'm going to go out into my Urshifu. Um, this man doesn't switch into Urshifu. Really? Um, which is nice, I suppose. I am kind of like a bulky-ish substitute set, so I can hit a sub on whatever I want to hit a sub on. Um, he has got a good switch in, obviously, into uh, this Iron Head. That doesn't do a lot of damage at all, which is great. You'll see on leftovers. Um, this thing doesn't get like a... Uh, what's it called? Let's click sub because this thing behind the sub can do a lot of work to his team. I think Grimmsnarl is obviously a switch in. I do have the Iron Head, he might click the Reflect. Uh, this thing goes through Protect. Uh, I don't think he's gonna wanna take a look at Blow. He didn't see Leftovers, so we do get the sub up. Um, so Bundle is obviously a Blow. Okay, so there's Komoa. Um, is he gonna finally scale to me? I don't know if I can risk... I should have probably just clicked the uh, Drain Punch button. Because sound based moves obviously go through. Um, uh, this is a problem because... He could obviously have a f uh, Steel move. And this thing could easily be... Um, what's it called? Could easily be physical. So actually switching into this thing is hard. I do have Shaman, do have Gastrodon. Um, Gastrodon could be a good mid-ground play. It's not here for anything in particular. It does help with the Viperia. Um, and it does have the clear smog. He's got, he's got a, he's got to break my sub or attack me through the sub. I think Gardevoir is the play. If he reads me here and hits like Poison Jab or Iron Head, then fair play. Um, I think he's going to go for the Clanging Scales. Uh, so let's find out. So I do get the Bulletproof, which is nice. And he does go for the Iron Defense. Interesting. Um, I should realise it's called Notices You Uru. Um, I'm going to click Moonblast, because this thing isn't new to Moonblast. Um, yeah, he swaps out, so that's fine. I really need to get Toxic Spikes up here. Really need to get Toxic Spikes up. So he goes back out into the crank. We know he's physical. Um, if I can set some spikes up, that would be nice. So I'm going to go out into the Gastro now. And then I think after that I could potentially switch into... Uh, what's it called? I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not sure what I'm on about. I think my chance to get Toxic Spikes up is if Grim Snarl comes in. Or... Maybe my period. I think this man's gonna put me in light here. Um, he could, you know, he could sign head, so that's good. Um, you'll see I've got Rocky Helmet. That is a crit. Um, that's fine. Do I now double out into my Shifu? He could be Dragon Dance, he could click Moonlight here. If he was Dragon Dance, I just click Clear Smog. I'm gonna click Spikes. The more hazards I get up against this guy, the better, because he hasn't got any removal. Um, and I think this guy, if he doesn't have removal on the Cosma, might be in range of E speed at this point. Um, so if he wants to click Moonlight, then that's fine. He draws. 
Mr. Guy into. He goes into Trichophilia. He goes into this thing. What are you going to do to me? Are you going to try and trick me? Is this the play? This might be my opportunity to get Moth in and click Toxic Spikes. Because Toxic Spikes are going to be huge. Huge here for me. The Toxic Spikes are. Um, I don't care if he paralyzes me. Like Moth is here purely for the Toxic Spikes. Um, Pink, you know, Fiery Dance is pretty good too. His bulk up. That's fine. Um, I don't know what this thing can do. I have got sub on this thing as well. Um, and as far as I'm aware, like, Gardevoir can do well against this thing. Um, I've got Leech Seed on Shaman too. <sighs> He's not going to want to take a sludge wave, is he? Like, he's just not. I think I'm going to pick Toxic Spice. I've got some defensive investment in this thing. Um, Because I thought, I just realised King Gambit isn't here. I prepped for that King Gambit so hard. That's mainly the reason why our sheep is here and it's bulky for that King Gambit. Um, he can't afford to stay in. But he also doesn't switch in to a sludge wave very well. Which I'm not running, but he doesn't know that. Um, he clicks Sucker. Okay, so I click the Toxic Spikes here. So now I'm going to click uh, Sub. I'm going to click Sub. See what he wants to do. So Toxic Spikes are up. I don't know if I want Toxic or if I just want normal poison. I'm going to click Sub now. Because if Sucker Punch is his only attacking move, then I can play around this. Uh, I can just Fiery Dance. Like, he might have Drain Punch, which will do nothing. He clicks Sucker again, which is fantastic, so I'm going to click Sub. Um, I am... what's it called? Um, Black Sludge, that's the one I was looking for. So I am Black Sludge. Um, so now, do I want to click Toxic Spikes or do I want to uh, just start attacking this thing? I'm going to click Fiery Dance. Um, bulk Up Sucker Punch. I wasn't expecting. Oh, okay, so he switches. Does he go into Como O? Park Ranger. What is Park Ranger? Criteria. Okay. You take that. So he's poisoned, he has spiked, that's nice. Um, he might have Rock Blast on this thing. He might have Rock Blast, so I am going to switch out um, after this. Uh, do I get the special attack boost? No, I don't. I am fearing that Rock Blast. Um, Gastrodon is my play every time, I think, or maybe Shaman. Is he lefties? He's lefties. Okay, so the poison is going to negate that well. Chipping this thing down is huge. It's actually huge for what's its face. Um, it's enormous for what am I trying to say here. Reggie Lucky Endgame. Reggie Lucky Endgame. Once this thing goes, pretty good. Um, obviously, Grimstar can't T wave it. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be like Spirit Break. Um, Spirit Break, Sucker Punch, and Bulk Up. Um, oh god, I, I hope he clicks Rock Blast because that would make me look like an absolute god gamer if this is a Rock Blast. Um, if it's not, then it won't make me look like a god gamer, and that's sad times. So he does Terror. Does he Terror into Poison? Push Fairy. It won't be Fairy. Poison. I have. I had Psychic as my last move. Oh, that's that's a shame. I had Psychic as my last move. Um, I could have okay, so I could have stayed in the Psychic there. That did so much damage. That done so much damage. Um, so I don't think I survived in that one. What's really annoying is this thing walls my Shaman now. Um, do I want to get try and get up a second layer of spikes? This thing's going to be. I mean, I don't have a switch into this thing. Um, really at this point. So I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna have to stay in and click the uh, power button. Um, I could have just killed this thing there and then with a sidekick or done a lot of damage. So I over predicted, I over predicted. He switches, okay. Oh, I wish I took spikes again there. I really wish I took spikes again. Here's Bunda, okay. 
Do I go hard into guard cards? That does a lot of damage to the crit. Holy shit. Um, so he has to click freeze dry here, right? He has to click freeze dry, or he clicks use card. I don't think this thing helps me anymore. Um, this might be in range of vacuum wave now. It might be in range of vacuum wave. So, uh, what well, is not like a calculator looking like? Uh, you are iron bundle. Let's just say your heavy duty boots. Fine, I'll go to Gardevoir. You are boots actually, so you're not choice. Vacuum wave is 47 to 56. Um, He's gonna put freeze dry. What do you have on your six? Bundle Blaziken. Blaziken just uh, I just used Blaziken, I think, really. Although spikes and toxic will help. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna click the spikes button in case he ever predicts it. He does click freeze dry, so that's what I thought would happen. Uh, Did you lucky come in here? Because I can always go Shaman if Rhyperia comes in. So the only thing that's kind of left here that's healthy is the Coma. No, Coma is poisoned. So I think I go Regilecki. Regilecki is making his debut. Um, and if he wants to go into Rhyperia with Lightning Rod, then that's fine. I think that could be what, what happens. Um, so let's click Volt Switch, because I can go Shaman if he does switch to Rhyperia here. Um, he's not scarfed, he's boots because he's been poisoned. So I outspeed, I'm adamant. Uh, I outspeed this thing like, with no investment, which is brilliant. Um, so Volt Switch won't do a lot. Is he going to be solid rock or is he going to be lightning rod? So he withdraws, which is fine. Um, he does go out into the... Which is fine. Um, I should have clicked Reflect, really. He gets rid of Toxic Spines, of course. Oh, he's not lightning rod. Okay. Good to know. So, um, I could come into you here. Cool. Um, and I'm just going to click. Does Drain Punch kill? Does Drain Punch kill? Wicked Blow my wood. Um, although, to be fair, after Poison. You will probably die to any hit. I, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to pick up the blow. Um, I might be able to set up another move on the green smell with the what's its face with the uh, what's it called? The Rhyperia is O and one. Uh, Necrozma is O and O, Komoo is O and O, Grimstar is O and O, Gardevoir is O and O. No, we've got the kill on his team. And Bundle. I could have gone into what's his face. So free there. Um, okay, so do you brave burn me here or close combat? Uh, Do I have any way of actually like? Because if this thing just attacks me here, I might I might just have to put Drain Punch, you know. Um, I'll outspeed him actually, unless he's scarfed. So I'm gonna click Drain Punch. Yeah, that's fine by me. That does so much damage. So it's now in E speed range. It's in E speed range. Um, does he source nuts? Does he just kill me? He clearly close combat, which is fine, and I die. So that's fine. Um, That's fine. He's light bulb. Okay. How much does Gardevoir do to Blazer Ken with. Uh, what's it called? Vacuum Wave. 17.9 to 21. Not enough for me to want to risk it. Let's go into you. Uh, because I will outspeed you, I believe. So if you're now plus one at Jolly. 426. Jolly, max speed, 426. Regieleki is at 436. So, 
I can click super slow. Oh, I don't miss. I can click ball switch. In case he wants to save this thing for whatever reason. Um, and he doesn't appreciate guard wire anymore. He just doesn't appreciate guard wire anymore. So I think if I click Volt Switch, he protects. So I've got the extreme speed after this. So he won't know. He doesn't necessarily know that is the play I've got. I really wish I had acrobatics now. I so wish I had acrobatics. So wish I had acrobatics. Because that would really screw over the um let me click the extreme speed now. Screw over the uh, Komoo so much. Um, so I do click the extreme speed with the normal gem. Um, Reggie is going to go 1-0 on its debut. You'd love to see it. Gastro is going to be 1-0. Um, right, let's blaze it coming down. 1-1. One and, one. and uh, she is 1-1. What else got to kill on my team? Um, I think I want to Volt Switch out into... I'm shaming at this point. I'm oh, good damage. I am really good damage. Um, I want to go into Shaman and go to see. I think. Because I think he's going to predict me to go out into the Bar. And if he steps up, then... Clicks out. Okay, okay, that's really nice. Um, I'd like to say I predicted that, I didn't. Um, I am boots with lefties. That's, that's okay. I'm going to click the leech seed. I have got Dazzling Gleam. What about kill? Was it a Shifu or was it a Shifu with a kill? Um, so it's 4v4, so he's got Bundle, Necrozma, Como, and Grimmsnarl. So I'm just going to click the leech seed here. Um, he withdraws. He goes into the Frank, which is going to me. Gonna click the HC from hit. So he didn't have Grass type on his entire draft, which is why I decided to bring this set, because it's a free. I mean, with the poison spikes, if I had them up, it's like a free uh, like load of chip every turn. So if he's speedy, let's kick a drain. So if he dies, I am Terra Fire on this thing. Um, so if I now go Shaman, 1 and 8. Um, now that Krosma's dead, I think Guardwire just goes in. Trick of Are you sub? What are you? Uh, let's... Are you sub? I've got Dazzling Gleam, so like... The bulk of the So he doesn't know. I've got the green. I'm going to see you again. I hit, which is great. Um, so I think the green, I should be okay. Um, I could protect, but I'm just going to click Dazzling Gleam. I'm max defense, so yeah, I gleam. That does a lot of damage, which is nice. Good drain. That does nothing. That does nothing to me. Holy shit. Shaman is putting in the finest work here. So Leech Seed, I wonder if he's now in range? This, oh, I wish I was still, I was meant to be Terra Electric on Shaman. But I'm really upset that I'm not now. Um, so let's click the Dazzling Beam again, because he hasn't got a switch. He just hasn't got a switch. So let's click Dazzling Beam. Um, and click drain again. So I could protect on this next turn here. Um, get as much health as I can, or I can click Giga Drain. I think the play is to protect then Giga Drain in case. That, I think that'll give me more health. I think. So let's click protect. So if he switches out here, then he's a mad lad. I don't think he will. Yeah, he stays in. So I click protect. Um, he clicks drain. I wonder if we'll click Sucker Punch on this next turn. As like a final parking gambit thing. Although, no, Leechy just killed. So we can't Sucker Punch me. Shaming goes 2-0. Oh. Um, so I think Gar, I think Gardevoir just wins now actually. So I just let this thing go down. If Bundle comes in, I Terrify her. Yeah, I'm going to Terrify her. And click the... Uh, 
Could I put the Heat on? No, I could put Giga Drain on. No, I don't. I could Dazzle Gleam on. No, I don't. I could put Giga. I clicked the Giga Drain on. So I'm going to Terrify it. If he predicts this, then it's a god play and it's a fair game. Um, <laughs> but I don't think that should happen. If it does, then yeah, I can't, I can't really argue that, can I? So. Um, I'm going to give it Terrifier. Does he click an ice move? He'll freeze me if he does. He clicks a Hydro. That is a god read. That is a god read. Fair play. Um, so bundle now one and one. Um, I could just go Regieleki here. Um, because then I go into Gardevoir for free. Let's vault out, I guess. So bundle goes two and one. Bundle absolutely goes crazy. Um, so let's look two, one, bundle. Shaman put in an absolute. If I didn't terror there, holy shit, Shaman would have just put in the finest work. I knew that set would do a lot of damage because you know, he has no grass type, so I knew the leech seed tech would, would come in handy. But just shout to. Uh, Reggie Lecky here going, uh, what is it? 2 0 so far. Uh, we go Gardevoir on his last Mon, which is the Como O. So Grim went 0 and 1. Necrozma went 0 and 1. I really want to know what that Necrozma set was. Um, weird. Um, so I have got like. Okay, so I trace the bulletproof. I imagine I live any hits. I am max HP, so I am just going to click the, I guess the moon blast here because it doesn't get stopped by bulletproof. He clicks dragon blast. Well, is he just sacrificing this thing here? Uh, I think he's just sacking it. I think he just knows the game's over. Yeah, solid victory there for the Norwich Skitty in that game. Uh, not really the team I expected from him. I really expected the Weezing to be there. I really expected Cypher. And I really, really expected it to be Lightning Rod uh, Rhyperior because Regieleki against this six here goes absolutely ham. And if I'd have stayed in with my, uh, what's it called? Iron Moth against that Rhyperior, then this game could have gone completely differently, maybe even more in my favour, but I can't complain because that was a, a really solid game. That is um, my best win of the season by far, like my own two have been one of so I really needed that 3-0 victory because my heaviest loss this season is 3-0. So um, yeah, really good game. Uh, I felt like I kept the momentum in that game really well, which I think meant that I was able to just control like my spikes and my toxic spikes and whatnot, and I got a good amount spread around the team. And that Shaman, once that Blaziken was dead, was just free as anything. So I'm really glad that I kept in the uh, Shifu and sacked that Slap Blaziken because it put me in such a commanding spot. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, uh, that, that battle, because it was a really good battle. I've got to say it was the Jack Off. Well, I might have said that already, but I'm Jack, he's Jack, so it's, it was, you know, a Jack Off of all times. Uh, we, we shared a pregame poop before this as well, so it was really intimate. Um, anyway, I'm rambling now, so thank you for watching, guys, and. Um, I'll see you for week six. Bye.